This is a model BAP-34 fixed four-way traffic signal made by the Signal Service Corporation of Elizabeth, New Jersey, otherwise known as SSC. In around 1932, SSC bought out the signal line of American Gas Accumulator, otherwise known as AGA. They kept AGA's castings and continued to maintain and manufacture what was for its time a fairly large traffic signal. If you look at the SSC components, you'll see most of them have AGA casting numbers on them. SSC signals were easily identified due to their distinctive visors that we sometimes call tunaways. They were long with blunt tips similar to tunnel visors, except the sides were carved back like a cap visor so that pedestrians on street corners could actually clearly see the indications of the signal. Back in the 1930s, it was the Depression, and there were three distinctive sequences for three-color traffic signals. There was single yellow overlap, double yellow overlap, and no overlap. The overlaps allowed for more economical wiring of the signal because the green light on the arterial street and the red light on the cross street, as you see here, are wired to the same circuit and vice versa when the signal changes the red light you're looking at and the green light on the cross street are wired to the same circuit. That requires two fewer contacts in the controller and two fewer conductors coming from the control box to the signal. This particular signal has a single yellow overlap. Yellow comes on for three seconds on the green side before the signal changes. Double yellow overlap actually had the yellow lights, all four of them wired to, the, to a single circuit, and so it would show yellow in all four directions when the signal was changing, whether it was changing from green to red or red to green. For example, a non-overlap signal would require a minimum of six contacts and six conductors plus a neutral from the control box to the signal, where a double yellow overlap only required three contacts and three conductors plus a neutral from the control box to the signal, which during the Depression, every penny counted and was significant. One difference between the SSC and some other early signals, such as Southern Autoflow or Darley, was that their sequencing was very precise. This restoration shows uh, the precise color changes of the SSC. There weren't any inadvertent overlaps of all three colors or red overlapping green on the way from red to green or intermittent dark outs. Uh, this was a pretty precision signal. It was taken over by Marbleite in 1945. And in fact, for a short period of time, Marbleite was producing this same model signal under the Marbleite nameplate. You'll still find a handful of these signals in service today, although most of them have been converted to LED displays. However, it's pretty amazing that signals installed over 70 years ago are still providing service on some American streets.